Don't, don't, don't commit, commit a distraction infraction. What is a distraction attraction? Well, it's anything that causes distractions in the car, such as texting, which is the number one cause of distraction in a the car. There's also eating, which is a really messy idea, and it really takes your mind off the road. The same goes for applying makeup when you're more focused about your looks than what's going on in front of you. And there's also adjusting the radios and the climate control, and that can wait for when you're at a red light. Moreover, pets can also cause you to lose focus on your road, so can having your concentration focused on other passengers. And not only is smoking bad for your health, but it's also bad for your driving. Watch the driver's gaze as he commits various distraction infractions. Yeah. Okay, yeah, what time? Okay. I'm driving. Bye. Hi, small chocolate frosty. Else? Large fries. All right. That's it. That'll complete my order. Thank you. Distraction infraction. <laughs> okay. What's the matter? You okay. Oh no, I dropped my toy. You get my toy, queen. You dropped your toy? Being caught while driving this track is illegal, and if you get caught, this is what could happen. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Hi, good afternoon, sir. I'm Sergeant Pumphrey with the Cedar Grove Police Department. Can I see your license, registration, insurance, please? The reason I stopped you is for uh, driving while you're on the cell phone. You where it's against the law to drive on the cell phone in New Jersey? Yes, I actually do. Okay, you know, it's dangerous to drive on the cell phone in New Jersey. It's almost as bad as drunk driving because the way it distracts you. Okay. Right now we're down on a crackdown in New Jersey for uh, people on cell phones. Do you have a Bluetooth device or anything with you? I actually do. You do? I, I wasn't Any reason using you're not using it? Uh, I just wanted to take the call. You just want to take the call? Okay. You know, a lot of people die on the roads every year from it. Last year it was about 3,000 people from talking on a cell phone. Okay? All right, let me check your license. Just stay in the vehicle. I'll be right with you. Yes, sir. They issued you a summons for uh, driving while talking on the cell phone, okay? There's a court date on the box, you want to plead not guilty, otherwise you got to pay by that date. All the information's on the back. These are your documents back. Do you have any questions? Not right now. I apologize. Okay, sir. Please uh, don't drive with the cell phone. Use the hands-free device. Yes, sir. Thank you. However, if you don't get caught, things could be much, much worse.
you're distracted driving, you may not notice someone carrying groceries home from the store. You may not even notice small animals crossing the road. And now here's the kicker. Do you remember that list from a few minutes ago? Well, of course you look like this. Well, there's something I didn't tell you. We gave the teachers at Sierra Grove High School a survey on which were 11 questions, all of them relating to driving while distracted. And they're all yes or no questions, and when we got them back, the results were a bit interesting. When asked if they had ever sent a text while driving, over 73% responded in the affirmative. When asked if they had eaten while driving, a resounding 87% said they had. And when asked if they had placed a phone to their ear and had a conversation while driving, 77% said yes. And of course, when asking if they had messed with their radio, 70% said yes. So what does this mean? Everyone can be distracted while driving. So what can you do about distracted driving? Well, for one, you can like our Facebook page. And what that would do is that would show your friends that you're an attentive driver and you're very responsible behind the wheel. Another thing you could do is spread the news around your school like we did. We had a driving awareness day during which we signed a poster as well as giving our fingerprint to show that we're not distracted drivers. The Sierra Grove Police Department also came and gave a presentation about distracted driving and the ramifications that come from it. We even got some cool t-shirts to create unity in the student body and to keep people focused on our goal of preventing distracted driving. We're all officials. Don't be afraid to call a foul on someone if you're a passenger. We also set up a committee for videos about distracted driving, like this. But most importantly, you can keep your eyes on the road. Don't pay attention to the kids in the back seat, nor should you pay attention to the pet. And you shouldn't eat text, and most importantly, you shouldn't cook while driving. Most importantly, keep your eyes on the road. So what have we learned in the past eight and a half minutes? Well, for one, surveys show that people like teachers and parents aren't immune from driving distracted. So, take a lesson and don't drive while doing makeup or fiddling with the console or paying attention to your kids or else you'll get a ticket or even worse. So, on behalf of the Sierra Grove Drivers Education class, I implore you, put the phone down, keep your eyes on the road. And as a reminder, don't, Don't commit a distraction infraction! On behalf of Sierra Grove High School, as well as the Sierra Grove Police Department, and in cooperation with the Brain Injury Alliance of New Jersey, New Jersey Division of Highway Traffic Safety, NJM Insurance Group, and Allstate Foundation, I thank you and I hope you take this lesson to heart. And please, for the sake of everyone on the road, Please don't commit a distraction infraction. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you?